A successful weekend for UC Track and Field at the American Athletic Conference Championships. Joined now by head coach Susan Seaton. Uh, obviously to lead things off, another championship uh, for the women. And uh, I'm sure this has to feel especially sweet for them. Coming so close back uh, in the uh, indoor championships, you, you kind of challenged them and they certainly rose to that challenge. Yes, they certainly did. We spent the whole outdoor season thinking about those two points that we were missing for that, that kept us from winning a title indoor. And I think that really provided that extra fuel. Uh, that and combined with a great team spirit where people really supported each other and cared for each other uh, I think is what, what put us uh, over the top to be able to claim our second title. Well, you could certainly see the support that uh, the, the teammates show for themselves uh, over the weekend, and uh, it really resulted in a lot of success. Uh, you guys had some several highlights. Uh, you had some sweeps, uh, the heptathlon and the decathlon. You won on both the, the men and the women. Uh, you were able to win the shot putt uh, with both the men and the women with uh, Annette etchkin Wookie and uh, Mac Tudor, but uh, several other events, but we'll start with those. It was really exciting to sweep those events for you. Yes, uh, I think uh, that speaks for the quality of the whole program, the men and the women. Uh, great coaching, uh, you know, just having a really solid uh, athletes on uh, on the team and uh, not just uh, you know sweeping the events but also having uh, other competitors in it that were able to score points I think is uh, is really big for us we were talking a lot uh, heading into this one about the relays and the strength of the uh, the relays for your team and that uh, that proved to be the case yes uh, we finally have a really good uh, squad together there uh, five young ladies and uh, uh, one alternate and uh, they just really, really uh, came together. They've practiced hard. We started talking early on about making it to NCAs this year. And uh, of course, also winning this conference title. And we just kept that focus. And, uh, you know, it took us a little while to put the 4x4 four four together. Uh, there, you can't really run that hard every single weekend. But, uh, you know, we, we ran a pretty solid one earlier in the season. And then we really wanted to focus on taking this title back from uh, UCF. <laughs> Uh, they got it last year and so this year was just outstanding. I mean, I'm so proud of these young ladies and how they've worked together and pushed each other to new heights to be able to uh, claim both titles and uh, in school record times and qualifying times for the NCAs. So it's just outstanding. So much uh, hardware for this team this weekend. That uh, that 4 by 100 the first uh, team's win uh, in that event in the championship, and that's certainly something to be proud of. A couple other highlights. Uh, Adrian Vias again, continuing uh, to do very well in the pole vault as uh, he would win again. And then we also saw Brianna Robinson uh, win the uh, 400 meter for the first time for the women. It seems like, you know, all these first, all these championships coming home for the Bearcats. Yeah, well, Adrian has, uh, I think that was his sixth conference title, uh, you know, so he's been very, very solid, uh, really untouchable in the conference. Uh, outstanding performance. They had some difficult uh, conditions like I have right now with the sun in my eyes here. <laughs> they had the same situation in the pole vault, uh, but uh, he overcame that and uh, just really did an outstanding job, very consistent. Uh, and then, of course, Brianna won indoor in the 400, but uh, you know, she had a little bit of a rough outdoor season. She got injured and sick and had had some setbacks there but she came back really strong and i think she's just starting to be uh, be in shape right now uh, so i think we have a lot more to see from her in the upcoming weeks it seems like she's kind of hitting a, another gear here uh, as we uh, you know head to the tail end of the season but this really feels like something that uh, your team can build off of a lot of momentum to come from this yes uh, you know of course conference uh, conference championships are just so much fun because it's such a big team event you got you know 70 people there all uh, fighting, uh, fighting for the team for three days straight. It's uh, nothing, nothing beats that intensity. Uh, but uh, it's also nice to know that we're now moving on to the postseason, and we are able to uh, bring a good number of athletes to the uh, regional championships in Ken at Kentucky in a, in a week and a half, and hopefully uh, qualify a number of them to go and represent the Bearcats at the finals in Eugene. I also want to cite uh, one of our uh, decathletes, uh, Alex Bloom. He's had an outstanding season, and uh, you know he's been uh, that that title in the multis was a little bit elusive. Uh, he's uh, had such a huge improvement uh, coming. Uh, you know, I think he almost improved by 600 points uh, overall score in the decathlon from last year to this year, and uh, just uh, you know he's been on fire all year. So I'm so happy that he was able to claim that decathlon title. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can sneak him into the national meet too. Uh, fingers crossed on that. But yeah, just an outstanding year for that young man. It's certainly been great to see his development uh, along with the rest of this team. Well, Coach, congratulations on the uh, women's championship and uh, best of luck to everybody here going forward to the NCAAs.
Thank you so much. Go Bearcats. All right, that's head coach Susan Seaton as the UC women take the American Athletic Conference outdoor track and field title. Several individuals coming home with championships as well.